Hey, this is Tim from Harrison Consoles. A lot of our users have asked us how to export their tracks from Pro Tools to work with in Mixbus. Now, what are the advantages of mixing this way? Mixbus has a streamlined workflow that mirrors an analog console. Everything you need is built directly into the channel strips, and there's no need to open a multitude of plug-in windows. Even effects like saturation reside directly in the mix window and are available to use at any stage of the mixing process. A lot of engineers use plugins to emulate the experience of mixing in an analog studio, but it doesn't impart the feel of true analog mixing. Harrison Mixbus is the only digital audio workstation backed by a company with 30 years of experience making analog consoles. Therefore, it is the closest you can get to an analog studio in your computer. In this specific scenario, I recorded this song at a studio that had a Pro Tools HD rig, and the collaborator that I was doing the edits with also had Pro Tools. We kept it as a Pro Tools session as we worked on the edits back and forth, but now we'd like to export the tracks so that we can mix the song in Mixbus. The first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that our All group is selected. If it's highlighted, it's selected. The next thing we want to do is hit the Enter or Return key to make sure we're at the beginning of our timeline. And then we can hold shift and click at the end of our song or at the end of our session. I've already set up an endpoint here so I can hold shift and click my marker. And what this does is it selects all of the tracks with the same selection range. So the reason that we want to select all of our tracks this way is because we want them to all be the same length when we consolidate them. Reason is, is because when we import them into Mixbus, they'll all automatically be lined up. A key command for consolidation in Pro Tools is uh, Option Shift 3. As a side note, you may want to make a duplicate playlist for all of your tracks before consolidating them. This ensures that your original edits will be kept intact. Now after all of my tracks have finished consolidating, we can see that they're all the same length, all the gaps have been filled in with silence. What consolidation doesn't do is it does not write plugin settings to the tracks. You can see that we've added a few plugins here, just kind of in the pre-mix process, but it doesn't add any of those effects to these regions. These regions are all completely unaffected by the plugins that have been inserted on the tracks. Now what we'll want to do is export all of these regions. A key command for that is Command-Shift-K. I'm going to leave them as Wave, Multiple Mono, and then we'll want to make sure that we're exporting them at the sample rate and bit depth that we recorded the session. In this case, I recorded it at 4824, so I'm going to leave those. And it's simple as selecting Export, and it will export all of our tracks.